praise the Lord. I want to talk about um, foundational scriptures and scriptures that are um, more so like they fit here and they fit there, but they meant something very specific according to kind of a, uh, I don't know, just a specific branch of some sort. You know, like you got the vine, you got the branches. It's almost like we're trying to take a verse that's more of a branch and make it a and make it a trunk of a tree. Make it a vine, you know what I'm saying? And we're taking things that are foundational and trying to replace them with things that are only branches. I think that's why a lot of the church is so blind and weak a lot of times. Praise the Lord. Not to be mean, I'm just trying to like describe something. I, I can see a problem. Now, there's a scripture in the Bible that says the goodness of God leads to repentance. So obviously, under a certain um, angle, whatever the context was, was the goodness of God leads to repentance. I'm pretty sure that's pretty clear. Now, you could say, okay, if that's true, then obviously repentance is not bringing forth the goodness of God. That's not true. It doesn't mean that that's the only thing. It doesn't say that's not the only verse in the stinking Bible. Okay? The Bible says Jesus went around after fasting for 40 days and said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So if you're going to go and say, oh, I guess the goodness of God leads to repentance, so we don't have to repent until the goodness of God leads me there. That's just taking a branch and trying to make it a vine. No, the foundation is what did Jesus actually say? He said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The one preceding him was John the Baptist. He said, repent, prepare ye the way for the Lord. Make your path straight, not crooked. Do it yourself. Make repentance in your own heart. And then after Jesus goes to heaven... Then Peter comes along and says, repent too. He didn't say, wait till the goodness of God comes and then feel like repenting. Woo! No, because it's not a branch. He was laying down concrete foundations just like his daddy, the King Jesus, the God of the world. Glory! And John the Baptist, the greatest preacher in the world. Amen.